Welcome back to Crypto Comics, all you beautiful people in Webtown. Do you know what happened today? 32 years ago? Today? It was the release of one of the greatest science fiction movies of all time, Robocop by Paul Verhoeven. And I just so happened to track down Robocop number one, the future of law enforcement from Marvel Comics. This is the first action-packed issue based on the major motion picture. And I thought it'd be awesome here on the 32nd anniversary of RoboCop's release to go through this comic, which was actually surprisingly enjoyable. Oh, Double Dragon 2, The Revenge. Ooh, I love it. It's a martial arts explosion from Acclaim. So this, this balding middle-aged dude is running from these thugs called the Urban Curs. I got this uh, awesome uh, motorcycle from the future that just hovers, a hover bike, if you will. I don't know what, what happened to Cyclops in this to have him turn to the dark side, but you know, obviously Scott had some emotional issues, probably from Gene's long love affair with Logan, would be my guess is what turned him, made him leave the X-Men and join the Urban Curse. That's just my guess. Yeah, Risey, did you hear that? Your blue cross up to date, old man. P -p -p Please guys, don't, don't hurt me. I got nothing worth stealing. ID, Urban Curse Youth Gang, wanted separately and collectively, 50 plus charges. We already been paid for you, Baldy. Kiss it goodbye. Prime Directive, protect and serve the public trust. Use whatever force necessary. Enough, drop your weapons. You are under arrest. Huh, who's the comedian? No laughs, Kerr. I said drop it. Frag and K, in the future we say Frag and K instead of F and A. Frag and K, it's some kind of machine. Part machine, creep. Also part man and the part you do not want to hear. All cop. I don't care what he says. The Frager owes me a hand. Blow him away. It's because he shot him in the hand, which is interesting because that's exactly what happened to our friend Murphy in the RoboCop movie. Combat Zone, Detroit Still versus the New York Slam. Tomorrow it's the grand finale. Written by Alan Grant, pencil by Lee Sullivan. You should have taken the easy option. Our bullets are just bouncing off of him because nobody can stop him, right? Because he's RoboCop. And then this guy's over here. Cost me plenty to hire those curs. And that monster's pulping them. It's going to be worth it, though. Darkstone will ape for this footage. Man, machine, I, I don't care. Back off or Baldy starts breathing through his jugular. Range, 5.37 meters. Target area shielded, 92%. Don't, don't shoot, you, you'll hit me. Targeting optimum shot. Ah, oh, holy heck. Even more impressive than I'd heard. Time I was gone. This little baby will take care of the last cur and that loudmouth pokey. This is pokey. Now just why were you so set on killing? Ah, smart gun. Directive three, protect the innocent. Stay in its line of fire till it backs off to retarget. Then kablam. Robocop to base. Medevac required. Make an alley. Four dead, one wounded. Am in pursuit of perpetrator. But the dude's escaped, you know. So Robocop returns to the medevac. Checks out this guy. The curs were out to kill, not to rob. Infrared sensors might shed some light on the situation. ID card in the name of Pokey Yule, ex-combat fighter, and a broken circuit board. Neither of them worth killing or dying for. Media break. Give us three minutes and we'll give you the world. I'm Ronald Toller. And I'm Anita Craig. Southern Spain is reeling today after an invasion of a million plus refugees fleeing the great African drought. More on this later. But first, local news. Here in Detroit, Nixco has announced an interest in Omni Consumer Products Delta City Project. A Nixco spokesman said... Our estimates shave billions off of the OCP quote. Plus, we have a viable alternative robot policing policy. Nixco is going places. Fast. Sports news. Stay tuned for the latest on this weekend's Grand Combat Finals. Back after this. Everybody has a secret dream. Now you can make your dream come true at Dreamorama. Meanwhile, at the old Detroit Arena... Robocop shows up because he wants to see what's going on here. He knows something's uh, fishy. 
And, you know, of course, you know, the, the, bo- the well, not the bodyguards, but the doormen, they didn't want to let him in, but you don't obstruct a law enforcement official, right? Though he's tiring fast, Scorch Blaine is far from finished. He's fainting, drawing Joe Cube on. Visual, telescopic mode, engaged. Oh, Cube easily parried that blow. He's raising his own taser. And Blaine is overloaded. He will definitely not be getting up from that one. See, they use tasers to fight each other in the arena. Suit insulation, supposedly effective up to double that charge. Overload, unlikely. Anomaly, anomaly. Ladies, gentlemen, combatiers, the winner, Ohio's own, Joe Cube. This fight was fixed. It's just like the UFC in the dressing rooms. Don't sweat it, Blaine. A couple of weeks in bed and you'll be okay. An attempt has been made on the life of one Pokey Yule. Is he known to you? And of course, you know, these guys know, know who he is. I believe he was employed by Deck King, the combat promoter. Where can I find him? Who knows? Mr. King gets around. He won't be here till the big tag match tomorrow. Detroit still? That's Bud and Ray there. Or his boys, see? But Mr. King won't know nothing more than us about no attack on Pokey. Heartbeat normal. He speaks the truth. At least as far as he knows. The circuit board I removed from Blaine's suit. It's Blaine's suit, right? Has been tampered with, like Pokey Yules. See you at the final, King. Meanwhile, at Omni Consumer Products, that's O-C-P. And how is he shaping up, Johnson? Couldn't be better, sir. 27 arrests, 4 deaths, and 3 convictions on this shift. That's 9% up on our projection. Excellent. You're doing OCP proud, Johnson. Now that you're top dog on the Robocop project. A word of warning, though. A certain friend over at Nixco, informs me they're ready to test their own robot police, the Nix Cop. We can't afford to lose the Delta City contracts now. We've far too much invested to allow Nixco to carve it out of our grasp. Don't worry, sir. I'll be personally keeping a close eye on the situation. Robocop won't let us down. He'd better not, Johnson, or it's your job. I love Johnson in the movie. He's like probably my favorite character in the Robocop movies, other than Clarence Boddicker which was the Red Foreman character, remember him? Is RoboCop around, Sarge? Do in off shift now, Lewis. Hey, and here he comes. Book him, Sergeant. Biting an officer with intent to assault, and this guy's got the mechanical jaw, and he's like tried to bite RoboCop, but he can't get his metal jaw to retract. RoboCop has to force it off. Some weird city, huh? Doubly strange, Officer Lewis that a man should willingly have flesh and bone removed and metal substituted. You got a lawyer, punk? Lawyer, give me a friggin' dentist. <laughs> so now, you know, RoboCop's got to go recharge, and he thinks about when he, oh, I, I was a man, a cop, not a great one, but getting better. I loved my wife, my son, my job. I loved my life. Open space, it will be the trip of a lifetime. A shared universe science fiction anthology series featuring John De La Rose. No, I just made that up, but John De La Rose does write a lot of science fiction. Check him out on Amazon or DeLaRose.com. Then they took it all away, Clarence and his blood crazy crew. I got this problem. Cops don't like me. No, I don't want to die. Don't want to stop being a man. So I don't like cops. This is awesome. One of the best bad guys ever in cinematic history, Clarence Boddicker. Played by Red Foreman from that 70s show. His real name's Kurtwood Smith. He was also in another really awesome science fiction movie called Fortress with Christopher Lambert. Christopher Lambert's only been in like three good science fiction movies ever. And Fortress is one of them. Highlander 2 is another. The, the Renegade Edition. So, you know, he, he's, you know, all butthurt because he's part robot, part man. And then the Nixco cop, you know, they're they're trying to get him worked out, but check it out, right? Dr. Dr. Sebastian Gorka, former aide to President Donald Trump, is working on the Nixcop. Neural interfaces wired into a cyborg body. Poetry King, sheer poetry. This is the guy that was recording Robocop in the beginning, remember? He's also the fight promoter for Detroit Still. The Nixco version of Robocop, huh? Does he work? Let's just see, shall we? Our bid to get in on Delta City depends 
on us getting the next cop onto the streets, and fast. Whoever can bring law to Detroit will rule Detroit. He's fitted with twin ionic beams, blah, 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 but see, there's a problem with him. We have one main glitch. Nick's cop has a tendency to overload his discretion circuits with rather unfortunate results. All right, switch him off. He just, he goes crazy. He'll just kill everyone. He's like an Ed 209. Our lab's been working on it day and night with precious little success. The neural interfaces are just too complex. A great pity, really as it's the only thing stopping us. Launching a blitz on crime this city will never forget. Exactly why I'm here, Darkstone. I, uh, just happen to have something that might be of interest to you. X-ray film of Robocop in action, shot on a camcorder with built-in analyzer. Just what you need, I'd say. And five million's all I need. Don't be stupid, King. We're already paying enough for your services. God, hey, you dirty double-crossing. We have a deal, King. Nick's Co. betting shops stand to lose a billion if the home team wins the combat final. Your job is to make sure your boys lose. Anything more than that comes free. Understand? Now get him out of here. You heard what he said about this. Use it. Right away, sir. So they, they analyze this tape and check out the electro-neural conjunction. Well, Creston, what's the verdict? Simply incredible, Mr. Darkstone. If I hadn't seen it myself, I'd never believed such precision was possible. And you can adapt it to the Nick's cop model? Easily, and cheaply and swiftly. Then do it. Media break. Give us three minutes, we'll give you the world. The big news tonight is Spain has officially declared war on four North African countries. More on that later. Detroit Zoo has announced a breakthrough in the fight against cramped conditions and spiraling food costs for its 11,000 animals. Recent genetic experiments have produced the possibility of total stock miniaturization. Ah! While doing nothing to inhibit species' natural tendencies. This tiny lion's biting his hand. Yeah, it's interesting. As of this moment, upwards of 100,000 sports fans are converging on the combat arena for tonight's big tag team match finale. The much feared New York Slam versus local heroes, Detroit Still. Pre fight interviews follow after this. Crusted pipes and block drains? You haven't been using BAM, the plumber's bomb. And you got these drug dealers right here trying to sell this. This is what I love about uh, Robocop 2 is they have a drug in it called Nuke, which is all a big part of the plot in the movie. And here, uh, we just have, uh, you know, a different kind of drug. Hey, fight fans, you going in clean or you going in mean? The man is talking aggro, my friends. One gets you high, two gets you fighting. And 20 bucks gets you both. And selling illegal substances gets you to a 10 stretch. Ah, oh, shoot, it's the robot cop. So, you know, Robocop takes down the drug dealers. He also takes down uh, the drug takers. He's going to throw them in jail for a couple years. And the guys at the front door, you know, they're happy because Robocop, you know, we don't want any trouble with Robocop. Come on in, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment you have all been waiting for, the Grand Tag Team Combat Final. On my left, the Masters of Metropolitan Mayhem. New York Slam! And their opponents tonight, Bad Bud Rad and Vinegar Ray, our city's very own Detroit Still! The final is a no time limit, no holds barred. Hey, Draco, wait for the bell! Two point penalty! Stabs him ahead of time. The elusive, the elusive Deck King. Perhaps the key to solving a major crime. There's Dex sitting there watching. Get up, bud! Zap the sucker! But meanwhile, minor crime must not prosper. You pickpocket. So he's here to, like, deal with this guy, but he sees his pickpocket, and, you know. Oh, plus, public use of tobacco is illegal. 30 days in jail await you. Banned additives. Disrespect to an officer of the law. Do not throw hot dogs at me. You have one week to pay your fine. Dex King, I have some questions for you. 
Robocop, he just found out. He, he knows it was me. I, I gotta get out of here. And he runs into the ring and Robocop follows him. Stop him, stop him, guys. No one can stop Robocop. You were Warren. Robocop kicks the butt of the combat fighters. They try to electrocute him. You have heard of reverse polarity. <laughs> Zaps him right back, right? Shoot, he's taken out all four of them. There is no escape from the law, King. Robocop just grabs the rope and yanks on it and pulls the turnbuckle post completely off. Pulls Deck King back into the ring. The guy's not going anywhere. The crowd is going wild. The country's top combatiers wiped out. Manager Deck King under official arrest. Blast. I should have known better than to rely on King. He'll lead Robocop straight to me. Bad news, Professor. King is arrested. You and I will be next. But, uh, Mr. Darkstone, surely Nixco will protect. Nixco cannot be seen to sanction illegal behavior. We will be sacrificed. Unless... How close are you to completion? The new inserts have been fitted. We've only had time for preliminary tests so far, but... The tests can wait. Activate them. Now. You want us to take him too, Robocop? No. He will receive any treatment he requires at headquarters immediately prior to interrogation. You have a lot to explain, King, and my sensors suggest we do not yet know the half of it. Lead car to backup. Picking him up now. Headed east on the grid. Contact approximately 12 seconds. Prepare to intercept. Road blocked. Speed 50 kilometers per hour. Stopping distance, 25 meters. Dead stop, brakes applied. Scream! Robots, bearing the symbol of Nixco. Interfering with the law is a serious offense. Explain your actions. Silence! You are the criminal. You have damaged a Nixco police vehicle. You have taken an unauthorized prisoner. You will deactivate your weapons and come with us. You are being very foolish. This is your last warning. Surrender while you still can. Next issue, Murphy's Law. Oh, Castlevania Adventure. And Motocross Maniacs. I always thought the art for Sky Shark was really phenomenal. Say rap. Say Taito. Say yo. Sweepstakes. I, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, this is RoboCop, number one from Marvel Comics. This came out right after the movie was released, and I actually really enjoyed it. This was really fun. I would read, I would read a subsequent issue of this just to see how it continues. Uh, I am a big fan of RoboCop, though. You know, I don't know if everyone else in the world is. Maybe. I mean, we are talking about a guy who had four feature-length films in theaters, three direct-to-video movies, a live-action television series, and an animated series, plus, you know, toy line and everything else that came with RoboCop. Definitely uh, an indelible part of American pop culture, no doubt about it. And I have been so honored to share it with all of you beautiful people in Webtown here today on the 32nd anniversary of RoboCop's release in theaters. And you know I'm going to come back with more awesome comic book reviews to entice and entreat you tomorrow, right here on Crypto Comics. So don't be afraid to like this video, subscribe, hit that ding dong for notifications, and I'll see you tomorrow on Crypto Comics.